and Alexa Grasso. All right, so here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight contender looking to become the new champion here tonight. There is no denying she has every tool and every skill you could want, and she has all the makings of a UFC champion. Let's see if the pressure gets to her here tonight, or if she can put forth a similar performance that, of course, has led to this monumental opportunity here tonight. All right, so here she is with much fanfare, the reigning, defending undisputed UFC flyweight champion, making her way to the octagon, the mission tonight to defend her title and go out the way she came in as the UFC's best at 125 pounds. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Our rounds for the undisputed UFC flyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record of 16 wins, three losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexa Grosso. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Ishkek, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullet Shed. Goal. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. takedowns if need be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here under mixed martial arts rules. They can head to the popcorn booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. You need that grapple button empty, don't touch it. Covered with a piece of tape, you don't need it. Striker versus striker, both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents and they don't want to do it on the mat. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. 
liver kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Head kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. You got to check these low leg kicks. Lands a big elbow there. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Yeah, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow of just throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. So just over 20 total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grosser. Grosso gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible damage on the other side. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She won't take many more. You'll start to see her fall to her back, try to engage in the grappling, because she will not be able to get any weight on her front leg, which will make her stationary and be in very much, and be in a lot of danger to get caught with something hard at the top. Oh, big knee! Now a knee! Big head kick lands. Huge shots there! Able to check the high kick. Shevchenko gives us with that punch. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Final seconds here of round one. Beautiful take down lane. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for the finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. Nice punch there. One coming. Yes. Shevchenko going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, the right hand is there for <laughs> Shevchenko's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Oh, she connected with that right hand, DC. She's so fast when she throws it, there is no tell as to when that right hand is coming. <laughs> Grasso gets caught with that punch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant... Hey, there it is, her first takedown of the fight. She told us in our fighter meeting Thursday, at some point, I will take her down. She didn't expect it to take this long, but here it is. She really had to work to get this first takedown, and she never gave up on herself. Continued to press, continued to shoot, continued to level change. Now she finally has secured her first takedown. That reversal by her there, champ. That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Under three minutes now to go on the round. So some fight stats for you here. 57 total strikes have landed now for Alexa Grosso. And the accuracy rate, by the way, for scoring at home, 47% to this point in the fight against Valentina Shevchenko. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. It's a beautiful Seconds to go in round two. 
You don't know when that leg kick's coming. to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, so how about that? She gets the takedown late in the round. The persistence paid off, Chip. Persistence pays off. She is a cardio machine. So in order to secure a very big takedown like that late in the round, testament to her. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. Grasso's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. But she's so fast and she's so sharp with those punches, it allowed her to really control that round. All right, next round is now underway. Didn't love that previous round. Both women had some moments, but not necessarily the back and forth high level action. It was very slow. Both of them were very, very tentative in their approach. Who is gonna make that determination that this is my fight? Somebody has to take the lead going into the next round. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Ooh, big shot lands. What a big time takedown. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Shevchenko. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she is able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Shevchenko. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. So 99 total strikes have landed for Alexa Grasso. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy rate against Valentina Shevchenko. Big head kick land. Just unable to quite find that range. Just over two minutes to go. Straight punch lands. Tries to work it into a takedown. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Shevchenko gets hit with a kick. How good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe, right on the chin. It may not look like she's hurt uh, to the blind eye, but she's getting stunned. You keep taking that, it'll be a short night. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown dude? All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Such a fast. She did not miss there. This could be the end, I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did and got that big knockdown that really did determine this round. 
tonight, we got to set up these takedowns. All right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank or so, it seems. They did a great job. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh, God. She was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pounds, and this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Both fighters back to their feet now. Beautiful strike. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Grosso's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Grosso gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, strong punch there by Grosso. Man, you can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Now they're both throwing with power. Now goes in and secures the takedown. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys are trying to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice kick. All right, less than a minute here to go in our fourth round. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch land over the top. Shevchenko gets in the clinch. And there comes the separation now. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Just misses there with the left. Nice in. All right, so she goes for the double right takedown here, DC, and she is able to secure it. Beautifully done there. Beautifully done. Great timing, great angle on the finish. Great job getting to her best position. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick, so why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws them. You ready? Let's go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. That was a thudding leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Beautiful head kick. What a great job by her there to double up on the jab. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight!
was just a near perfect strike to end the fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. She said, I need to win this fight, but I need to do it by stoppage. I can't leave it in the judges' hands. If I'm gonna take my career to the next level, I've gotta get the knockout win here tonight. Mission accomplished. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the women's 115-pound champion. She looked like a world beater here tonight as she gets the job done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout.